Hi, my name is Mac Mail, or if you prefer, uh, Master Mac, if that's how you know me online. And I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about potholes. So I'll let that sink in for a minute, because if you know anything about me, you'll know that I generally don't talk about things like potholes. But it's on everybody's mind, and it's an important topic, and I do have some ideas that I'd, I'd like to share with you. I'm personally pretty tired of hearing that there's nothing we can do about this problem. It seems to me that potholes are a problem that aren't going to go away unless we do something about it. So I've done some research, and I've pulled together some information which you'll find in my blog post. Um, and according to the research I've done, since 1990, we've filled somewhere, somewhere around 10 million potholes in the city of Edmonton, and we've spent around $80 million doing it. Now I'm sure you've heard that quote that, you know, doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting a different result is basically the definition of insanity. But with few exceptions, it seems to me that that's exactly what we've done. Each and every year, we spend a few million dollars, we try to fill a few hundred thousand potholes, and we somehow hope that next year will be better. Uh, I think it's time we did something different. I think what we need to do is have a more sophisticated and creative look at the problem of potholes. I think we need to elevate the conversation a little bit. I certainly don't have all the answers, but I do have some ideas that I'd like to share. The first thing I think we need to do is pull together all the information that's available. And I've started to do this, and you'll see some of that in, in the blog post. Um, there's lots of information out there. There's things about the potholes we've filled, there's things about the money we've spent, there's obviously you know, weather records and snowfall records and all those kinds of things, but they're all in different places. And I think to turn it into knowledge that we can do something about, we need to bring that together. So I think that's really the most important first step. I think the second thing is to figure out what tools are already available that we could tap into. Uh, obviously with data, I think one that comes to mind would be the open data catalog that the city of Edmonton hosts. Um, currently, they've got data in there for the number of potholes that they fill each month, going back to 2007. Uh, but we could put a lot more information in there that would really help us take a, a better look at this problem. Um, the second thing that comes to mind, of course, is the online form that you can use to fill out uh, or report a pothole. So if you see a pothole on, the, on your street, you can go onto the city's website and you can tell them about it. I think the third thing is to take a look at uh, what other people are doing. So other cities have potholes. They're tackling this problem, I'm sure. Um, you know, what other expertise is there that's out there that we just don't know about? And yes, Edmonton's unique and we've got a different climate and all those kinds of things, but surely there's some, you know, interesting ideas and things that we could take inspiration from, from elsewhere. So if we did those three things, if we pulled data together and turned it into knowledge, if we took a look at the tools that are available, and if we brought together expertise both within the city and maybe potentially outside the city, what could we do? If we put everybody in a room together for one day, what kinds of ideas would we create? Who could we engage? And what kinds of actions would result from that that might help us you know, tackle this problem? I think it's an idea worth considering. For now, my call to action is really, really simple. If you've never used the online form at the city's website before, go find a pothole. It shouldn't be too hard. Probably went outside your front door. And report it using the form online. The second thing is if you found any of the information that I've shared, either in this video or in the blog post, valuable, please share it with others. Thanks for taking the time.